Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Lakeisha Michelle. No, you can't see me because you're looking at my model. So, um, I am just going to show you guys, this is a free video that I wanted to give out just to give you something that I feel is very foundational in short hair. It's your mold. This is very, very, very important. And this is what sets the style. So what I wanted to do was just give you guys a free video um, and just show you an example of what it's like to be a member of shorthairbootcamplive.com. So this is Danielle. You will see her in other videos say, hey, Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do, we're going to work on a basic mold, guys. Your mold is everything. So the tools that you're going to need are a comb so that you can go through the hair before you get ready to mold because you want to make sure that the hair is detangled, okay? It's the worst when I see people when I'm teaching and they're like trying to rake through with a small tooth comb. And I mean, you want your clients to feel good. so. We're just gonna go through and make sure that the tangles are all out of here, okay? So I'm just going through the head and I'm combing out tangles. And I am going to get it all nice and in the form that I would want it um, to mold. So check out the way that I have our head right now. So I basically started at the center top of her head, right? And I'm going to take all the hair at its natural fall. Kind of think of an umbrella. Think of an umbrella. So for this particular style, there's a million ways to mold. Well, not, not a million, <laughs> but there are a lot of ways that you can mold, but I'm gonna go ahead and mold in the shape of an umbrella, okay? So this is the little point at the top of the umbrella. Everything else, think of how the umbrella spreads, okay? That's the way we're gonna do a mold. The key to a really good mold is making sure that it's nice and tight. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So now that I have the hair combed out, I wanna leave a little bit of moisture in the hair. Moisture is gonna come from the water that I just left a little bit, it's not completely dried out. I'm gonna use Influence Foam Wrap. Now my two favorite foam wraps are Nairobi and Influence. You will hear me talk about it forever and ever. So now that I have the hair in the shape that I want it, I can go through, grab some product here, and place the foam. So you see my umbrella shape. I'm just placing the foam on top of the shape that I've created. Tip number one, a lot of stylists are scared to put the foam on the hair. And I want you guys to know when you're using the right foam wrap, you don't have to worry about putting too much. Put the foam on, okay? Now, the right foam wrap means it doesn't leave a, a, a film on the hair. It doesn't leave it too heavy or greasy or anything like that, okay? So let's pay attention to how I'm molding. I'm gonna turn Danielle around so that you guys can see. Put the comb after the hand. And what the hand is gonna do is give you a nice tight mold. I have a little audience here. I need you to pay attention because you don't know how to mold your hair. <laughs> So guys, you can actually teach your clients this too. So <laughs> she doesn't know how to mold her hair. I'm like, pay attention. So you're gonna take your hand, place it on the head, and you're gonna take the comb behind it, okay guys? So, and you wanna just smooth the hair down after, after you've combed it. And that's a really nice, tight mold. We want the mold to be nice and tight. Now here's again, I told you, a lot of stylists do not like to put enough foam wrap. I don't know what y'all trying to save or what you're scared of, but it's just, I need you to put enough foam wrap, okay? So we're gonna come around to this side of the head. And I'm gonna make sure that's combed out. And guys, it really doesn't take your whole bottle of foam wrap, but you need to put enough so that you're fluid. So again, follow with your um, hand and make sure everything is nice and tight. Okay, nice and tight, nice and tight. So we're following through. <laughs> Somebody's being insubordinate right now with their phone. This is live guys, so it just goes down. Not in a DM, in the class. So you guys see that's a nice <laughs> tight mold, okay? Here's the deal, you want this to be nice and tight because you don't need to have crinkles, and wrinkles. A lot of times I always get with my assistant, I'm like, listen, I don't wanna see any crinkles and knots and stuff up in there. So if you see some that look like they're gonna be little pockets where the hair is kinda tangled together, just go back through and comb it down straight. 
This is everything, it's all in the mold. When you get a nice mold and you have the right haircut, your clients can go if they don't have time, they just wanna get a wash and mold, okay? Or if they need to be at home and do the same thing. So I'm just gonna come around, that side's all done. Notice I haven't done the front of the head yet, okay? So I'm gonna come back over here. Again, I'm combing it out, making sure that there's no crazy tangles, okay? And I'm going to follow the comb with my hand. Follow the comb, chase the comb. Keep that in your mind. And the reason why I'm, I'm obsessing over this is because I can tell within my short hair member group, and just I can tell by looking at other hairstyles, when people tag me to look at their work, you're not doing a tight enough mold. When the mold is not tight, that gives you a more a puffy style, a puffy outcome. And we want stuff to be laid, child. Do you not want to be laid, Danielle? She wants to be late. We talking about her hair, y'all. Quit being nasty. So <laughs> I am just pushing this. I'm following the comb, making sure everything is smooth, guys. I'm not doing any waves and stuff right now. If you want waves, you can enroll in the class for $19. But right now we are focusing on, we are focusing on a mold. So if you notice, I'm taking out, um, I left her bangs. So here's the deal. When my clients have long bangs, and you know we don't want to be under the dryer for 50 hours. You don't have to put so much foam wrap at the top. This cuts down on drying time. Depending on the style that you're doing, um, you don't have to put foam wrap at the top, okay? So what you do need to do, and something that I think is very important that I obsess about as well, is three quarters of an eyebrow. This is very important. I stress this in all my classes. When you're getting ready to do a mold, three quarters of an eyebrow, I need you guys to create what we call in class the Valentine. So, the Valentine, y'all, I'm so pumped up off my workout, I feel like I'm gonna crack. But I don't know what crack is like, I'm just saying. So this, <laughs> so, this is the three quarters of an eyebrow area. I'm trying not to drip all in Danielle's eyeballs. And what, what you wanna do is create a Valentine. A Valentine is what we call like, a, it's kinda like an upside down heart. So right in this area, we wanna comb it forward and then we want to just create like a little swoop, the shape of like one side of a heart. Okay? And then that creates, you want, if this is an upside down heart, that's one area. And then right up in here is another area. And it doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm looking for is for you to close the gap right up in here. I do not want a gap right there because when you dry it like that, it gives you just a little hole in the hair and that's not what we're looking for. Although I'm not focusing on having a super neat bang, I don't want a gap there either. So just make sure that you have a nice, you can call it a swoop, you can call it a Valentine's, whatever. It looks like an upside down heart. Make sure that you close up these areas so that it's just nice and neat and it lays, okay? So we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. So I kind of already did it, but I just wanna make sure that I close up those corners, three quarters of an eyebrow. Why? Because that's where the hair tends to split and it'll make somebody look bald. And typically people have like soft edges um, and they're really fine in this area. So you wanna bring the hair down and then kind of swoop it over just a little bit, think of a heart shape, just to make sure that um, the hair is covering and not gonna dry to where she comes out and it looks like she has a hole right there. We do not want holes right there, okay? So this is just a basic mold, nothing major here happening. You can swoop this to the side like this. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I, don't, I know that she's gonna take forever to dry. <laughs> So look at, think about your clients and what they need, but I'm also, remember, not putting a lot of product right here at the top. Now, if the hair is shorter, you can totally do that. If the hair is kinkier, you can totally do that. Put, a, put more foam wrap, but the, thing, the process would be the same. You still would follow the comb and smooth it out, okay? So this is just a basic example of a mold. It's very important that you get the mold nice and tight. That's the key to this video. I want you to know that the mold is important and it needs to be nice and tight, okay? I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here so that you guys can really take a look.
Okay guys, so we are back. Um, I did put a little, a little glam on my girl. Look at the camera. Yeah. So we just did a little bit just so you can see the mold. So as you can see, see her neck. Now here's what you want to look for when your clients are under the dryer. You do not want them creasing up in here. Hold your head just forward a little bit. You don't want to see a big dent and this hair sticking up and all of that. I just, we just want a nice, neat mold. So as you can see, it's a nice, tight mold, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, now we just did a video um, week before last using Danielle and she's back. So all right, so if you guys enjoyed that how to do a proper basic mold, you will definitely enjoy the rest of the classes that are in the Short Hair Bootcamp Live member area. Guys, it's only $19 a month. It's a small investment for a ton of um, knowledge and also a network of other motivated hairstylists where you can discuss and upload your work and get better. So if you want to grow with us, go ahead, go to the website right now, shorthairbootcamplive.com and sign up. You can cancel at any time and we're welcoming any type of stylist or student. See you guys inside.